Okay, it's the end of September. It's 5, eh, 21 in the morning, I'm late already. Uh, we're heading out to the Benton Mackay Trail, me and my friend Aaron. We have four days off. Uh, we are expecting 100% chance of rain for four days. <laughs> uh, and flash flood warnings, we're on our way. We have to go to Reliance, Tennessee, so later. And just as predicted, there's the trailhead and here comes the rain. The rain has, has appeared. I can't really see Aaron's water. eye. He's got a, there he is. Here I am. <laughs> this is my uh, first step. Okay. Here we go. On the bent yeah, McKay, please. By, by all means. Here we go. Oh, gosh. It feels good. I'm not going to lie. Oh, it's good. Here you go. 100% chance of rain. It's the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Watch the rocks. All right, welcome. We are, where are we, Sean, again? What is this, double, double something? Spring gap. Double spring gap, so see, you can see uh, where the dead body was, that black area. And uh, we assume water's that way, but we don't know. And then if we turn around, yeah, water. there's Sean. Best I, best I can tell, water's... Yeah, water's straight up. And then there is a uphill that we get to battle uh, for the next, I don't know, half hour. It'll be good. Here's a good stop. Sean has found a pebble in his shoe. He's also wet. Probably could ring it out, huh? Oh yeah, I'm wet through and through. Need <laughs> <laughs> some more small stuff to pile on top. I think that's going to be our only hope. Is some small stuff. Last night was wet. Was that? Uh, raining. It's pouring. We try and try to get a fire to go, but we couldn't get it to go. We are drenched. First night out on the Benton Mackay. Right when we got to camp, it wasn't raining. Uh, we decided to pick a spot. We picked a spot, got our tents up, and then tried to start a fire. And the rain came back, and the rain didn't end for about an hour and a half. So we never got the fire started. out there trying to find the trail. We came a, we came down from up there where we crossed. There's a big old giant culvert pipe. Huh. Well, this is interesting. All right. Let's figure out where we're going, huh? Come on. Why don't you climb it and look both ways? All right, we found the trail, didn't we? Yeah. And where did we find that trail? On the other side of the creek. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait. There's wait two, wait two of us. Weird. I don't know. This is not a trail. Either. This isn't Twilight. Twilight Zone. Anyway, 15 miles in. To the love shack. First, first blaze on the trail, so. Rusted. We're lucky we didn't get lost because, well, we actually did. We did. We got lost for about 100 feet. It's okay. It's okay.
And that's how you walk up the trail. Yeah, there he goes. Are you still going up? Yeah. Well, we missed him. Oh, we didn't miss him. He was right there. He was right there. We saw him. I mean, I wish I got him on camera. Man, that doesn't mean he was big. He was just agile. Agile. Agile, baby. Are you okay? You didn't get... You're not shitting, are you? No, I'm good. I'm good. I think that was exciting. That was exciting. That's exciting stuff. Well, we just saw a bear. Yep. It was right down that little, we, well, we passed about three minutes ago, we passed some steaming bear poop. I should have taken a picture of it, but I figured I'd spare you. All right. So. I could be offended. Do you feel silly that you cried when you saw the bear? I didn't cry. Come on now. I pooped myself a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was tears of joy for me. Tears of joy. She tears was like, ooh, a bear. I'm like, oh no, a bear. <laughs> I was. I was really he was. excited. He's like, where's my phone? And I'm like, um, it's in your pocket. Let's go. <laughs> okay, was... Mike. That's for you. Keep dry on. socks. You see them there, right there by Aaron? They're not dry. That is not a dry sock. So. <laughs> Look at that salt and pepper. He's going to cook those. That's what he eats on the tray. They're good. A little seasoning. Yeah, just eat that. Sock soup. Hey, Sean. Nine miles to go. Okay. We came out of that campsite <laughs> and uh, off that bridge. And we are going up, uh, up, uh, up. Uh. Captain's log, star date, 9-27-2030. We just completed an incline that kicked our ass. Oh shit, I just lost my orange bandana. <laughs> you sure you lost it, Sean? Where is it? It's a beautiful. Found a bench that they put a bench on the trail. And it's just so beautiful. If you look, it's just so absolutely beautiful. <laughs> He just came, I don't know how far, but what, it was about three miles ago, four miles ago, Aaron ran out of water. And then about two miles ago, I ran out of water. But the first thing that happened when we got here is Aaron's water filtration bag busted as soon as he, before he even could get a drink. Not even the first drink. <laughs> Fortunately, I am enough, a nice enough guy to uh, help him out. Well, we're about at the end of day two. What did we say we did today? 12? No. No, 15. 15. We've done 15 miles today. We did 13 miles yesterday. It's a good feeling. But man, those uphills are killers. Feel my age. We have seven and a half miles to go today, tomorrow, and the next day, which... Sunday is probably going to be a really super simple day. Super simple. Hi. All right. This is a monumentous moment. Aaron Cowdell. <laughs> this is the first time he has ever gone to the bathroom in the woods on a trail. Although this has been used many times by other people, <laughs> not by me. 44 years old, been hiking his entire life. So here it is. The Benton Mackay broke him. <laughs> And it has done that. I am broken. <laughs> All right. We're not going to stay and watch. Thank you. We, we hope you have a good time. <laughs> hope everything works out well. We'll see you over there by oh, on the uh, other side. By 15 the, minutes. By the campsite. So out there, that fire... 
Is that the best that we could come up with so far? Anyway, day three. We, uh, day three. we have socks drying, shirts drying. It is warm. It is not as wet. It's not as wet. But Aaron's backpack is now uh, kind of like a water balloon. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> you got a wet down sleeping bag. Rheumato rheumatory arthritis is about to set in at any minute. <laughs> I refuse to leave. We woke up and a few minutes ago, this guy from up up there on the trail came walking down. Orange hat, orange jacket. Gun. R rifle, red bone. Red bone dog, is that what it's called? Like like uh, Big Dan and Old Ann or Old Dan and Little Ann. But the good thing is, is that he went in our direction that we were going. So we're thinking um, he got all the spider webs. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least, at least. They don't teach you at hiking school. Yeah. You don't, all you don't the learn that. Webs. I never heard of that. And the big spiders, the ones. <laughs> the ones where you go get, get right the spider. Yeah. And then you go. <laughs> so a little breakfast. Nine miles today. And that'll only give us a couple miles into where we need to go. Red back. I don't mm. know where it's at. Um, hopefully an early day. Hopefully early. an early day. And then we were trying to we were trying to like time this to get to a place called Flip Flop Burgers in Reliance. Oh, doesn't that sound good? It sounds great. Better <laughs> better than this Pop Tart. That would be All right, so I have been ready for what seems to be an hour. Now, Sean has now, not yet, but is at the precipice of being ready. Wait, let's, let's, let's look at, let's. Now, see, this is one of the things that happens during our trip. We'll stop, now he's tired. But he says, let's look at something. <laughs> it happens. It said, this is an old, this is an old um, map that we found. <laughs> and we're trying to figure out what it all means. We are right here at 103 Piney Flats Branch. Descend the creek, cross, then ascend. See, that's what kills you. It's, it's <laughs> that word ascent. right there. We're gonna be going down. So I don't believe it. our plan is that's to our, our plan is to stop right here at the railroad trestle at one. So that's up. You see that? See the up at the very end there? Right there, that little eat. Yeah, that's not a little ink. That's a son of a ink. This is Sean's first attempt. Second attempt, he got a, a he got a six point seven on the last attempt. He needs a minimum of a 7.9 on this attempt. So let's watch as he crosses the creek in such a treacherous location. This is the moment, this is the big dismount. It's coming up. Oh, oh my. Ta -da! Trip. How dare you? I dare you not to trip. I dare you. Trail. 
That's what they call it. They say they said this is the trail. They keep putting painted diamonds everywhere. Saying this is the trail, so I'm through. Oh gosh. Hey fellas. What's going on? How are you? You got some antennas on you? You got some trackers on you? Do you? Hmm? What are you after, bear? Look at that brindle, boy. Oh, here comes him. Well, we just passed a guy with three dogs. He had been out here since 7.30 this morning, hunting bear. He's got the three with him, but his other two dogs went after mama, so bear aware. I'm bear real. I'm bear. I think I was in mortal danger on that shot. We've been hearing chainsaws and uh, cars. Dogs. dogs, a lot of dogs. Heard a lot of dogs. A lot of Aaron. I've, been, I, I've heard a lot of, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? It's not lost anymore because we found it. Big Lost Creek. We're, we're on the Big Lost Creek. About, we've been on it for about uh, half an hour, 40 minutes now, walking down from where we were. This doesn't creek. get old, so. And then, just like that, the rapids end. We have uh, done day three, and we should have all but three miles of the trail done today. My hips are, uh, they don't hurt, but uh, sores on both sides of my hips. So I think I'm carrying my backpack wrong. Uh, starting to get blisters on my feet. Uh, they just stay wet out here. It's been wet uh, the whole time. It hasn't been rain raining the last two days, but it is wet. You have to go through a lot of creeks and a lot of the trail is wet. So. Just, just talking to Aaron about doing this and climbing up these hills and mountains. They're excruciating. And my hammies are burning. And I think to myself, why am I doing this? And then I get to these areas right here where you're walking flat for several miles. It's along the side of a river. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's, a, that's why I'm doing this stuff. Look at that bad boy right there. Where you, go? you don't see him? Wait. Right there. I don't see him. Hands up. Oh, that's a snake. Okay. What kind of snake? That? That's a, that's a that's poisonous. a copperhead. I stepped right there, and he is right there. Awesome. Hey. Where are we? Hiawassee Falls uh, Campground. Hiawassee Outfitters. We're gonna go, uh, Heck. we're gonna go and uh, go whitewater rafting. Yeah. <laughs> well, we hit a store. We came out. I'm up there where those People are walking. Aaron can't wait to take off his shoes. Oh, that's gonna be a good day. Be a good day. Duh. We are at, duh. what is it? Hiawassee Outfitters. This is a beautiful day. Oh man, it's a beautiful day. We couldn't have asked for a better uh, night to spend the night out thing. It was eight bucks, eight bucks a person campsite. Fit Flop Burgers is about, she said about a quarter mile. So we might do that for dinner. I think that's enough food for pretty much an army, isn't it? I don't think I can eat, I don't think I can eat that much food without getting sick. 
Yeah, maybe I can. Yeah. I know you I can, can drink, drink, drink that much beer without getting sick. Yeah. There's no. Is that your veggie burger? That's my veggie burger. Is it, the is El, El Spicy. El Spicy. Yeah. Oops, sorry. You know why. There you go. We are number 40. Hey, 40 miles. That's right. Hey, 40 oh, miles. Stop. How's your burger, Sean? It's a good burger. Well, you can't, you couldn't ask for a better place to have a wedding, I don't think. You know, there's the bride right there in the center. You know, you can take all your cathedrals in the world, but don't take this the wrong way coming out of my mouth, but you're in God's cathedral right here. Am I annoying you yet? No. Let me know when I am. <laughs> I'll keep going. Mine is the dogs. Is that you? And I'm walking around the campground. Trying to pilfer any kind of firewood. You would think at a campground like this, they would have bundles of firewood up by the office. Wrong. Well, you can probably go pick some up by the... Other campgrounds. I'm thinking that trestle right there on that active tre on that active railroad. I'm thinking that trestle will burn just fine. Well, Aaron. Yeah. Good night. Good night, Tom. Thanks for coming. Yeah. It's been a good trip. I can't see you over there. I'm filming. Hey, there you are. Can you see me now? I can see you now. All righty. Okay, that's been fun. Four miles tomorrow. Four miles tomorrow. Think we can do it. Morning. It's the last day, Sunday, 7.30. Aaron's already not in his tent. He's usually up a little bit before me, 15, 20 minutes before me, so he's not in his tent. I don't know where he went. Well, I found him. Up here where there's Wi-Fi. Figures. He's probably checking all his text he's answering i tell you what he's doing right now he's sending money to a nigerian prince that's what he's doing wait what are you doing at 7 30 in the morning on, on the bent on what read. say that again on I'm what on facebook on facebook yeah. I, I you know what i just said what i was narrating back they're filming you i said you were sending money to a nigerian prince that's possible on facebook on though. on I'm facebook thinking. How'd the you prince sleep? Of Kassam, Who? When the Prince of Kassam asks for money to help, you help. <laughs> um, so how'd you sleep? I slept very well. How about yourself? Good. It was, was it, a good night. Was it wet? The tent was, the tent walls got wet, but I did not. You so, did not. So that's fine. That's a first. <laughs> that's a first <laughs> of three days, four days, three <laughs> nights. Three mm. nights. I think it was just day. This is fun. All right, morning of day four, uh, hiking. We got four more miles or so to the car. I was up by seven. Sean got up about 7.30. And then um, I looked at Facebook. That's my whole day so far. Looking forward to today. Should be a good hike. Four miles seems like nothing. After three days, we did 13 miles. And then we did... Uh, 15 miles and 9 miles yesterday. My feet are killing me. Uh, my hips aren't doing so hot. I don't even want to see if I can. I show you my hips? I think so, maybe. So you can see that lovely piece, that jewel right there. That's on both sides. And it's still tender. So I'll take care of that when I get home. Sunday morning. Fantastic. There it is. All right, so hey. <laughs> so last night when we were sitting up there by the 
get the Wi-Fi at the store in the bathhouse. <laughs> bathhouse. There was a guy walked out. We were celebrities. And, and we were talking, and uh, he said, oh, are you guys the backpackers? <laughs> And then this morning, being tired, the, you know, the, the, uh... Took on a whole new meaning. Took on a whole new meaning. <laughs> We're the backpackers. We're the backpackers. And we hike, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're heading out. It is uh, some time o'clock in the morning. Early? Uh, 9.17. Just after 9, earliest morning yet. Nine. Just earliest morning yet. Kind of proud of Sean. That's where we stay. Aaron's proud of me. Why are you proud of me, Aaron? I'm proud of you because... Each day, Sean has been a good 20, 30 minutes behind me. <laughs> it's 5, 21 in the morning. I'm late already. And getting ready to go. And su surprisingly, he was only about 10 minutes behind me I today. Know. So there's progression in organization skills. He takes a little longer to roll up. You know, he's more of a steam engine, right? <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta warm up. There's no starter on it, per se. Well, we are uh, just about done. I think we got to be within what? Probably stick to the car if the car's still there. That's always a, you know, up on jacks, wheels gone, car burned out. We did it. 40 miles. All eyes on you. <laughs> that was good. How'd it feel? Refreshing? Yeah, it really is. Uh, it felt good. It took a lot of courage. <laughs> that was it. That's uh, uh, 40 miles again on the Benton Mackay. We got to Towie Creek, which is 115 miles, I think. 115 miles in. What does that leave me with? 185 to go. Eventually, we'll make it to the Smoky Mountains and. Dab and pork cap and be done. But this was a great, this was a great, another great trip. Experience. Experience is what does it for you, I guess. You know, seeing how your gear's gonna perform in the rain, seeing how you're gonna perform in the rain, you know, chilling, sh shivering, you know, possible hypothermia, getting undressed in the fly of the tent, thinking, you know, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? But get out of wet clothes and into a dry tent and it's, you know, just start laughing and giggling. So.